，在全球斩获了七点四亿美金。还被不少的权威媒体称为二零一七年最好看、最佳的超级英雄片，有史以来最佳蜘蛛侠电影。相信大家对这个十五年 IP 蜘蜘蛛侠首次回归漫威的电影已经期待很久了。那么，我们马上要请出的是电影《蜘蛛侠：英雄归来》中国地区嘻哈大使、最当红的嘻哈歌手 PG One， 为我们献上一曲《英雄归来》。不管什么边缘，我想达到终点。万语千言，不如面对风险。不知牵连，所以从不抱怨。一路向前，逐渐成为焦点。哎哎、边缘，我想达到终点。万语千言，不如面对风险。阻止牵连，所以从不抱怨。一路向前，逐渐成为焦点。哎哎、我从前胜利，也希望正义会在我手中。当每次残酷的现实总掐住我的喉咙，当每次做出决定的时候就开始头痛。我是个遵守规则，还是应该冲破牢笼 ？Bro， 我还是抬起头，站在那海里游，一个人继续走，想让 everybody know， 有人在逼我收手，当然会的。No no 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 no， 我我坚持做的一切，不枉为了我的亲人。是为了我的信仰，为了传承这份精神。你又从何处听闻？必须要满腹经纶，为理想孤注一掷。不管日落还是清晨，我只想编织的编织，你坚持。啊，这首把握的坚持，把未来给编织。啊，你看到我在电视里编织整件事。啊，先成功，先失恋，慢慢的，慢慢的就能实现。我是他的终点，万语千言，不如面对风险。不的牵连，从不从不抱怨，一路向前，逐渐成为焦点。哎哎、边缘，我期待的终点。万语千言，不如面对风险。不的牵连，所以从不抱怨，一路向前，逐渐成为焦点。Call me 到世界。在地上摸爬滚打，为了自己说的算。生活在家家成负担的眼睛太过蓝。反复在早起成长，选择追求大难版和另一个自己，在做战犯。犯，我有没有吃饭款？生活的好的晚端。好的反转，我慢慢，我开始身在百战，只有身兼百战才能整理东陆海岸。我开始茁长，在我的手掌，身处在柔软。如今在我的家乡，早晚一天名次八方。不仅在我家乡，早晚会名震八方。边缘，我想达到终点。万语千言，不如面对风险。不不牵连，所以从不抱怨。一路向前，逐渐成为焦点。哎哎、边缘，我想达到终点。万语千言，不如面对风险。不不牵连，所以从不抱怨。一路向前，逐渐成为焦点。哎哎表演感谢蜘蛛侠给我们带来精彩表演，也非常感谢蜘蛛侠英雄归来的中国区嘻哈大使 PG One 带给我们这一首《英雄归来》。接下来，让我们欣赏一段精彩的预告片，一起进入蜘蛛侠的世界。我们来看大屏幕。Those people up there, we pick up after them, and they don't care about us. These alien bastards are tough. You got to use the stuff they use. No more scavenging. The world's changing. Time we change too. There's something going on here. I don't have time for you right now. We are literally moving the Avengers. That means all their tech and weapons that can destroy the world are in motion. These guys are crazy dangerous. Oh, hey, guys! New move I'm working on. I built this whole place because I got people I have to look after. We're gonna put them out of business. Take everything they got. I got this. Just don't do anything I would do. And definitely don't do anything I wouldn't do. Yeah. Wow, 
，好棒的，好棒的预告片，真的非常让人期待。女士们、先生们、各位媒体朋友们，大家下午好，非常感谢大家光临由美国哥伦比亚影片公司和漫威影业联合出品的好莱坞科幻冒险动作巨制《蜘蛛侠：英雄归来》中国新闻发布会的现场，我是主持人 Natalie 王一之。该片呢由乔沃兹执导，汤姆·赫兰德、小罗伯特·唐尼、迈克尔·基顿、梅丽莎·托梅联袂主演，将于九月八日以啊三 D、IMAX 三 D 以及中国剧目三 D 的制式，在全国的影院登陆，非常非常的令人激动。那么刚才红毯过后呢，我们已经看到了粉丝们的激情了。接下来我们的这两位主创也马上即将登上台，我们先欢迎导演乔沃兹先生以及。我们的非常非常受欢迎的小蜘蛛汤姆·赫兰德 ，Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the director of Spider-Man: Homecoming, Mr. John Watts, and our friendly Spider-Man, Tom Holland. Thanks for coming here in. <laughs> Thanks for coming here in China. Before we start our conversation, let's take a photo together.、Um, our official photographer. Okay, right there. The, the, that one. That one. Hands up. That one. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna need your cooperation here. The, that guy with the palm. <laughs> OK， 好，谢谢，谢谢。来，我们来请工作人员把把椅子和话筒搬上来，我们赶紧跟两位主创一起聊一聊。So、uh, let's have our seats and microphones ready, and let's talk about this movie. We've seen on the red carpet; it's so welcomed here in China.、Oh. Yes, thank you. Whoa, loud. <laughs> Feeling good about the volume, huh? Have a seat. Have a seat, John. Is yours? Is yours as loud as mine? Mine's not as loud. You just have a louder voice than I. What do you mean? <laughs> who's the Who's the boss here? Who's the director here? Before we start, let's say a brief hello to the audience, especially the ones that is watching this. This is live streaming online, so yeah. So please say hi to the Chinese fans. Um, Tom. Hello, everyone at home. Thank you for tuning in.、Uh, we're here at the premiere of Spider-Man: Homecoming, which will be released on September eighth. Uh, we're very excited to be here. We've had a fantastic day in China,、um, and、uh, thank you so much for having us. Hi, everyone. That's very brief. <laughs> <laughs> That's very brief. Now, John. Well, we've seen a trailer, and、um, this homecoming actually directly follows the epic battle, the civil war between Captain America and Iron Man. Um, but it also has a very, very different style. Tell us how is this movie different from the previous Spider-Man series, and also how does it stand out in a very typical Marvel superhero movie?、Um, well, I, first of all, I think this movie is different from any Spider-Man movie that you've ever seen before because, for the first time, it's the real Spider-Man, the way he was meant to be seen, which is as the greatest superhero in a world of superheroes. So for me, as a director, that was really exciting to finally be able to bring Spider-Man to the screen in the way that he was meant to be seen.、Um, and in terms of the way it、uh, it it,、uh, it it relates to to other movies like this,、uh, for me, I wanted to see if I could continue the story of Captain America's Civil War、mm-hmm. and also just show、uh, you know what it's like on the ground level for all the people in this big Marvel universe and what it's like for For Peter Parker and the rest of the people、uh, in this universe, it actually cut the cliche of talking about his previous life, how he's bitten by a spider, how his uncle died, that kind of thing, right? Yeah, I mean, for me, I wanted to cut to the chase and see what it would look like to sort of combine the funniest movie about、mm. you know being young and growing up, and to combine that with the biggest action movie possible. 嗯，我刚才跟导演聊了聊关于这个电影到底跟其他的我们看到的那些传统的漫威超级英雄电影有什么样的不一样，以及呃，包括他跟之前的一些蜘蛛侠的一些系列有什么不一样。他其实就说到，其实他觉得这个真的是一个非常非常搞笑的电影，很欢乐，很欢乐。看完，那其中也包括呃，我也问他说，是不是把之前的那一些
被蜘蛛咬啊，那些所有的那些东西都已经省略掉了，直接已经跳到了这个我们的小蜘蛛已经变成了超级英雄的时候了。他说是，他真的是整个的叙事都非常非常的好，非常的有趣。Thank you. Now that's that's my translation. I'm going to do them every now and then. <laughs> So uh, we've also seen the trailer. We saw that t Staten Island ferry. Is that right? And you actually build modeling the whole set. Quite, quite spectacular scene with a boat that is a hundred feet long and sixty-four feet wide. Um, 我刚我想问一下，我们看看刚才看到的那个大的船啊，那个斯坦呃 Staten Island 这个。船的真的尺寸非常大，而且他们在其实，在拍摄的时候，真的在现场去造了一艘这样的船，是一个实景的拍摄。So tell us about this spectacular sequence about shooting in this gigantic ferry. The funny thing, the funny thing about that set is it was really slippy. <laughs> like Spider Man's meant to be able to stick to walls and stuff, and as soon as the metal got wet, it was suddenly like an ice rink. And I was having to do all these fight scenes, and I kept slipping over and landing on my ass.、Um, but that's an amazing sequence, and to see it on the big screen is breathtaking. It really is, you know, because the, the CGI team, the people that were in charge of the visual effects, did such an amazing job of creating such a huge spectacle while making、mm. it a grounded version of this character. And for me, the Staten Island Ferry is one of the most impressive. Action sequences that we've seen in a Marvel movie, and、uh, it's crazy that it's me bouncing around and stuff. Yeah. 我刚刚问一下荷兰弟，他说，尽管我们看到蜘蛛侠是一个身手很敏捷的，能够攀岩、走壁，手和脚都能够粘在任何物体上的，但是他们在拍这个大船的这一幕的时候，到处都非常的湿滑。他说，这个金属的船板啊、甲板这些船。沾了水之后超级无敌滑，所以他在片场的时候不停的就是摔个大屁股墩儿，<笑>所以这个应应该挺搞笑的。但是说这样的场景是很适合很适合在大屏幕上拍的。Any difficulty shooting this set, this this sequence, the scene?、Uh, it's only difficult because you want to do so much. You know, I, I wanted to actually blow up the actual Staten Island ferry, and they they wouldn't let me do that, so we had to build a set. But for me, it's just about Doing as much as possible, and、uh, it's you have to keep it all in your head and make sure、um, make sure it all is going to work together when you start editing. But it's really more fun than hard work when you're <laughs> doing big stuff like that.、Mm. 刚刚我问了一下导演，因为我最开始的时候我提到过，那一艘船他们是建成了一个有三十米长的这样的一个模型。但是他说，刚才导演跟我们说，因为剧组不不敢让他真的去用一艘船劈开一艘船，所以他们就只好建了这样的一个模型。他也说，呃，其实拍摄的时候还是挺好玩的，并没有想象中这么难。Tom has mentioned a little bit, little bit about the post production team. It's it's quite talented. The, Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, you, what was great for me was to be able to work with just the absolute best people in the world at every level. We have the very best practical stunt people. We have the very best、uh, post-production teams. We have the best CG working with all of the like digital domain, Sony ImageWorks method. Like everyone who is great got to contribute to this movie. So it really is the best of the best. 他他也说到我提到了一点点关于这个后期的制作，事实上这个地方也要跟大家说一下，他其实特效师这个电影的特效师是非常非常有名的一个特效师，他曾经这个操刀过，包括像《骇客帝国》啊，像《饥饿游戏》啊，包括还有像之前的漫威的《复联》呐这样的很经典的一些大片，非常值得期待。嗯、um, ，说起《复联》啊，有一些影迷可能会把之前的内战就叫做《复联》的二点五版，然后把这一次的《英雄归来》《蜘蛛侠：英雄归来》叫做二点九九版，不知道。台上的二位对这个说法有什么样的回应啊 ？So some fans or our or critics are saying that the Civil War is Avengers 2.5 and Spider-Man: Homecoming is actually Avengers 2.99. <laughs> What's your take? What's your response on that, Tom? There's only three Avengers in Spider-Man: Homecoming. Well, there's four if you include the picture of Hulk. 
<laughs> in the school room. I think it counts. I mean, I, counts. what's awesome about the Marvel movies is that they all fit together and you, in a way, need to see them all to see the full picture. And for us to be able to like be a part of that Marvel universe and to basically pick up right where Captain America Civil War left off and to keep telling the story and showing the implications and letting everyone know where it's going as well is like is pretty exciting. 那个照片贴在富联那个Stark大厦里面 so we've talked about the good guys, the Avengers. Now let's talk about the villain here, the Vulture. Um, how is it different from previous Vultures in previous Spider-Man series? I think John's idea for this movie was that if a regular kid can become a superhero, then a regular man beca can become a supervillain. Unlike villains we've seen in the past, he's not an alien, he's not a billionaire, he's not a undercover identity nasty organization you know he is just a regular guy who is having trouble with what's happening in the world and he's standing up for himself which gives him or gives the audience a reason to sympathize for him and also a reason to kind of understand why he's doing what he's doing it just turns out that yeah and it makes him person. scarier because i yeah. think you can relate to him in a way, and right. in the comics, the Vulture is the first supervillain that Spider-Man ever encounters. Mm. And for me, I wanted to make this the ultimate villain, the ultimate match for Spider-Man, mm. and the mm. one person who you think, oh, mm. this guy might actually win. Mm.哦,他刚刚提到了一个很好玩的,我先翻译一下这个,我们的荷兰弟说,他说其实在电影当中,你看到蜘蛛侠也是从一个普通人, oh. 去成长成为的而这个我们这个大反派其实也是一个普通人去变成的这样的一个大反派他说其实可以跟观众有更多的共鸣会让观众能够理解到这些不管是好人还是坏人他们都是从什么样的一个思想的一个过程什么样的一个
possible thing that the webs could do uh, and tried to show as much of it in the, in the movie as possible, but there's still so much more to be seen. That's just for Spider-Man. It's also uh, for the Vulture and for uh, the whole villain side of this story, they're using all the technology that we've seen in other Marvel movies. They're using the bits and pieces and the scraps from, uh, from the other films, and they, they're using that to build new, scary, dangerous weapons. So, in a way, uh, this was an a opportunity for me to explore uh, the fallout from those other movies and to build cool new weapons and technology that we've never seen before and could have never seen before. Mm. Also, Okay. 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 可怕的一套很先进的高科技的装备，那也是从各种各样的电影的一些启发，包括像什么外星人的东西啦，包括像那些很高科技的武器啦，在这里面都有一个很好很好的一个高科技的一个展示。It's okay, it's okay. You've been using the time. We're talking about the different webs. Ah, what? Hey, hang on. Speaking of different webs, what's your favorite favorite shooting mode? That part was quite entertaining. We've seen it. Some, some of them have already seen it. Uh, I think my favorite is the web grenade. Mine too. I was yeah. going to say web grenade. The web grenade. There's a, a feature where Spider-Man can like ready for all the pictures. Where Spider-Man can shoot a web and... It'll like explode a load of web onto an enemy. That's my favorite one. What about you? I like the web grenade too. Sorry to say the same answer, but uh, that one's really fun. And uh, it's, it's funny too. Yeah, you can do a lot with it. That part was very, very entertaining. We've been talking a lot about Robert Downey Jr. Um, he, the Iron Man is quite special in this because in this, he's kind of a, not, not only a, a friend, a mentor, but also a very fatherly Bigger. Tell us about the experience on set shooting with Robert Downey Jr. I mean, <laughs> he's Robert Downey Jr. He's <laughs> okay. amazing. That says I, a lot. For me, I, I, you know, I was first in line to see the Avengers movie and the Iron Man movies, and to be on set working with him is incredible. It's a dream come true, you know. And uh, he's a lovely guy. He brings so much energy to set. And it's amazing to see Tony Stark come to life in front of your very eyes. And he improvises like no one I've ever worked with. He is the king of improvising. And uh, we just had a lot of fun. John just kind of let us play around with, with the scenes and, and come up with new things and try new things. Like the hug, when we hug each other. That oh, was uh, oh, an yeah, improvised yeah. moment. That yeah. was just a, a random thing. And I think that's one of the funniest parts of the movie. And. Uh, yeah, so it was amazing working with yeah, him. Yeah, that one is also in the trailer. Now, I just asked him, "Do you feel like shooting with Nini together?" He said, "Actually, he's really a friend." He said, "He's a friend of Tony Stark's. He's 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 a friend of Tony Stark's. 之前已经拍了，已经拍了差不多有一半了，大家都很累。然后，但是小罗伯特·唐尼一来到片场，就感觉就是很燃爆啊，就把全部的人都已经提上了这个能量的那个 level 了。所以我想问问他 ，I've heard that he actually joined the whole set, the whole um, production, the whole filming process quite at the middle of the home filming process, and you guys were so exhausted halfway through the shooting and. He immediately light up your energy level yeah. <laughs> on set. 
Yeah, we needed it. It's true. I mean, he's, he's Iron Man. And, you know, he's sort of, it's a, it, it feels like a family. And he started this all with Iron Man, and it's great. It's like Dad shows up. And uh, he just brings so much energy when he's there. And he's, he's sort of like a, Iron Man is like a reluctant father to Spider-Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it, it's just, when he's there, it's, it's pretty amazing. 嗯，那导演就说，其实他真的就是属于一个爸爸的一个角色，来到了片场，给大家都带来了好多好多的能量。And I've actually heard, as a family, he actually cooked for you, right? <laughs> 其实有一天真的，我我听我听那个工作人员说，有一天妮妮给我们的荷兰弟做了一顿饭。So tell us about that. What happened? Uh, we were shooting Avengers three. Um, I had been on set all day, and for some reason, I'd miss lunch because we were shooting some scene. And at the end of the day, I was still working, and there was no catering. Catering had gone home because they only stay for lunchtime. And uh, he has a chef, so I remember texting him, being like, "Hey, man, like, is your chef still here? Can you cook did, me some did dinner?" Did he bring the chef, or did he cook? Well, I was kind of unclear as to who cooked the food. It was really good, which makes me suggest that maybe a chef cooked it. But uh, but yeah, so I went and had dinner with him, and uh, my best friend Harrison came along, and uh, yeah, it was really really lovely. Uh, he said, "Actually, in the show, it's the third show. That he one day was very hungry, shot a whole day, and at the end, he still didn't have food. Then he wrote to Nini a message saying he was hungry, and that he heard you have a very good cook. Can you bring us some food? Then he really just took the food and gave it to him. He said, "I got the food. I was very hungry. It was really good. I felt like eating it. He was very hungry. It was really good. I felt like eating it." <laughs> and just to be clear, Avengers 3 is the sequel to Avengers 2.99. <laughs> <laughs> 对，然后那他就说一定要先看了《蜘蛛侠：英雄归来》，然后才能看下一步的复联啊。嗯。嗯、um, ，So he bring you food? Anything you would bring to him after this trip to China? <laughs> 我刚问问他，他。既然这个妮妮给他带了好吃的，他这次从中国回去之后，会不会给他带一些什么好吃的 ？I don't know. I don't really.、Um... I don't know if there's anything that we let's, can bring to Robert Downey Jr. Wait. 你们有什么建议？ Oh, no. 应该给应该给妮妮带一些什么？啊、huh? ？Roast duck. They all recommended roast duck. Roast duck. Roast duck. All right. Okay, done. It's happening. <laughs> 他说好，没问题，一言为定了。Harrison, get some roast duck for Robert. <laughs> Put in your suitcase. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We we need a we need a big huge suitcase. Harrison, <laughs> 看来这件事情已经交代下去了啊，已经跟随从的工作人员提了这个事情。这个事情已经上议程了。好，那么呃，我的问题已经问到这里，我相信大家一定按耐不住，有好多问题要问我们台上的两位主创。Oh no, Tom's got the giggles. Huh? Huh? Oh no. Did I miss anything? Did I miss anything? This is an emergency. Did I miss anything? Harris, it doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. That's all the questions from me. Let's take the questions from our media okay, friends right here. All right. Uh, we'll let's look. The production team will put the microphone to you. We'll start from oh, that that one. Middle right. Hmm. Hello. 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 然后第一个就是通过您对就是《蜘蛛侠》这部片的视野，然后你觉得是什么样成就了蜘蛛侠从一个邻家的男孩变成一个英雄？嗯、um, ，Okay, let me translate this question first. He, he, she has two questions. The first one is,、um, from acting in Spider-Man, what do you think that makes this superhero from an ordinary just a boy next door?、Uh, let's. Uh, 还有两个，还有一个问题是吗？ Would you like to answer that first word? Sure. Okay.、Uh, he is the boy next door, you know. I mean, the thing that I think that makes his character so likable and so loved around the world is that he's relatable. You know, he is the kid next door. He's the high school student who wants to work hard and do his homework, and he's just a regular guy, you know. And I think that's why I enjoy playing him so much because he is so relatable and so fun and so loving and has such a positive attitude towards life and. I think that kind of answers your question as to why he is considered to be the sort of like everyday bloke.、Mm, but what made him the superhero? What's within him, or what's outside of him? What equipped him to be a superhero? 
Our motto for this tour is everyday heroes can be uh, heroes every day. Okay. I think that's how you say yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. And <laughs> looking at Sony, like, did I say that right? And, uh, you know, the real heroes are the doctors and the teachers and the people that make a difference and the people that help society. And Peter Parker, regardless of his superpowers, he would be one of those people. So that's what makes him a hero, you know, not the fact that he's super strong or super quick, mm. just the fact that he would go out of his way to help others. Mm. 比如说他认为一个很平常在生活中是英雄的人才能够变成一个每一天都是英雄的这么样一个人很拗口的一句话但是确实也是很有深意的一句话你的第二个问题 So your second question 第二个问题是就这个影片里面有很多的飙车镜头还有个特效镜头他有没有为这个影片做出一些特训或者什么的 there are lots of racing scenes and stunts in this movie. Any specific practical or, or kind of special training for you to prepare for those scenes, those crazy scenes? Uh, yeah, I mean, I went to the gym every day um, and tried to get into shape and, and make sure that I was just, you know, physically ready to take on this role. I did about a month of stunt training before we actually started shooting where every day I would work with the stunt guys and practice all the wire work and learn the fight sequences and stuff. I think one of the coolest sequences for us to shoot stunt-wise was the car chase sequence. You know, they put me in a car which then sat on another car and we raced around the city of Atlanta and I got to experience what it would be like to sort of be in a high-speed chase. It was awesome, it was so fun. Um, the only thing is, is I had the mask on so I couldn't really see anything. Uh, but uh, no, it was a lot of fun. 他说其实他真的是在拍摄之前已经有几个月的这个健身要把自己在不管是体格上还是体能上都要非常的准备好为这个电影啊那他说在片场的时候他比如说像那个飙车的镜头啊他其实是坐在一个车上面然后那个车
他觉得不一定是指给小孩子看那个电影，他觉得这个因为他的整个年龄的跨度也很大，能够给各个年龄阶层的人一种不同的一些体验。比如说，如果你已经高中毕业了，你会再回头看看自己的高中生涯，能够在这个电影中找到很多共鸣。那如果你还没有上过高中，比如说小一点的孩子嘛，他们就会看哦，那高中生活有可能是这个样子的。所以，对于所有的年龄层都是一样一样的有趣和好啊看的。I also think there's something cool about moms and dads that grew up with Spider-Man when they were young,、uh-huh. right. who have kids now, and they can take them to see Spider-Man right, right, right. and introduce Spider-Man to just a whole other generation. 嗯，他说其实对于父母来说也是一样的。比如说，我们都是看着蜘蛛侠的电影长大的，那其实现在也是一个很好的一个机会，用蜘蛛侠英雄归来这样的一个电影给自己的孩子们啊，包括自己的朋友们去介绍这个蜘蛛侠到底是什么样的一个角色。来下一个问题，从你那还那边吧，嗯，啊这边，好好好。<笑>然后我们都知道，在这部蜘蛛侠电影里，就是有钢铁侠嘛。然后在漫威当中有很多的超级英雄。然后想问一下二位，就是在下一部的蜘蛛侠电影中，希望嗯、呃、哪一个超级英雄能够出现？啊、ah, ，So lots of superheroes in Marvel movies. Um, for instance, this one. In- Besides Spider-Man, also Iron Man. But what about the next superhero movie?、Mm, who would you like to see, or who do you think should be in the next Marvel superhero movie? With Spider-Man.、Mm, besides, team, team besides、up? Spider-Man. Oh. Like huh? Like a team up. I mean, I'm excited. Who about, should join the team? I'm excited about the Black Panther movie that's coming up.、Mm, that's the next、mm. one. I think that's going to be pretty cool.、Mm. I would like to see Spider-Man and Black Panther together,、mm. making some trouble. Tom? Yeah, it'd be funny because they're so such a big contrast in their sort of、uh, very different energy. I, for me, Ant-Man is my favorite. I'd love to see、uh, Spider-Man and Ant-Man together. I just think that'd be so fun. And I've been such a huge fan of that movie. I'm so excited for Ant-Man and the Wasp. I know they're shooting. Did you see the picture of the Wasp? Yeah, it looks so good. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm excited for that movie. 那导演说他其实很期待看到黑豹和这个钢铁侠这个组合。然后他呃，荷兰弟就说他其实还是一心只爱钢铁侠，他还是觉得钢铁侠和蜘蛛侠的这个这样的组合是他最喜欢最喜欢。下一个问题，我们还有时间问下一个问题吗？我看，嗯，好，来吧。呃，我看看，呃，那边吧。Um, mm, uh, so this is question for both、uh, Tom and John. Is that、um, I know that both of you love the character Peter Parker so much.、Um, so I want to understand what characteristic of him that attracted you to him, and also if there are any similarities that you find of yourself within this character.、Uh. <laughs> there are definitely similarities between Peter and I.、Uh, We're both very like fun and bubbly. I have a very positive、bubbly. sort of attitude towards life, and I think Peter does too.、Um, I was the like awkward kid at school, you know.、Uh, and、uh, yeah, so I, I there are definitely similarities between him and I. I think the amazing thing that I've learned from Peter Parker is he is a regular kid who lives a very irregular life, but remains the same. And I'm a regular kid from Kingston, and I live this incredible life where I get to travel the world and do amazing things. And it's very important to me that I learn from Peter Parker and stay the same and don't change because of my job. So I guess that's my favorite thing about Peter Parker. Hmm. He feels he really feels that he has a lot of similarities with Peter Parker. He feels he has a lot of similarities with Peter Parker. He feels he has a lot of similarities with Peter Parker. He feels he has a lot of similarities with Peter Parker. He feels he has a lot of similarities with Peter Parker. He feels he has a lot of similarities with Peter Parker. He feels he has a lot of similarities with Peter Parker. He feels he has a lot of similarities with Peter Parker. He feels he has a lot of similarities with Peter Parker. 别可爱的、欢乐的、冒泡泡的这么样的一个男孩子，在呃，他觉得 Peter Parker 也是这样的一个角色。那呃，他说演完这个角色以后，最大的收获呢，就是一定要还是要保持自我，就像里面的呃 Peter Parker 一样，他虽然是超级英雄，但是他还是坚持自我。他觉得自己在这个行业也非常希望能够做到这样的一点。好 ，All right, that's、uh, all the questions that we are going to take from the media. Thank you very much Thank for your you. excellent. Thank you so much, guys. Excellent answers. That makes us just look forward to this movie even more. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. That. It was really fun. Thank you. I hope everyone likes it. Hang on. Oh. Not yet. Oh, but but stand up, stand up, stand up, please, stand up, please. That's um, very special moment here because we have gifts for you. Oh, cool. I love. Since you all travel so far away across half of the globe. 
，right？ 那因为二位远道而来，我们有非常特别的礼物要送给二位啊。我们看看，先看第一个礼物是什么？啊，哈哈。这个就是小蜘蛛的人偶啊，非常酷。<笑>我们来照张相吧。Would you like to hold that and take a? Wow, yeah. Okay. Now you direct, direct, yeah, direct the pose for Spidey. No. <笑>好，我们。Oh. Don't, don't, don't. Let's. Before you break it, let's take a photo. <laughs> 在他们弄坏之前，我们先来照张相吧。Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. 好，谢谢，谢谢。But this is not it. 这还没有完哦，因为我们还有一份礼物。We got one more gift for you. Um, let's have our staff keep this for you for now. Tom, it's a scroll. But what's so special about the scroll? 啊、uh, ，我们来看一下，这个其实就是由四十个粉，四十个城城市的粉丝。我们来精挑细选的其中的六个，它这个就是蜘蜘蛛侠眼中的美丽中国，也希望借着这样的一个呃美好的一个兆头啊，那个蜘蛛侠英雄归来能够在在中国的各个地方都能够票房大卖。So you know, right? The the Panda Conservation Center in Sichuan, the Shaolin Martial Art Temple in Henan, the Great Wall you've already climbed, and this is Shanghai, the Pearl Tower. This is the、uh, terracotta in、um, terracotta in Xi'an. This is the Yulong Snow Mountain in Yunnan Province. This is Han. Yes, yes. When you have yes. <laughs> 导演在台上说，我们的续集就应该这么拍啊、哦。Wow. <laughs> Now, would you like to hold this gift and、um, let's have a photo together? Yeah, yeah.、Uh, hang on. Move, move a little bit to the center. Move a little bit to the center. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, great. Oh, okay. Would you like to stand in the middle and let the two, and the two guys hold this? Okay. Ah,、oh. cool, cool, cool. 非常棒。Have the staff take this for you. Keep this for you for now. And before we go, one last thing. Your recommendation. Wrap up in one sentence for our Chinese audience. Why they should go to the cinema to see this movie. Because one word. One word.、Oh, one sentence. A sentence. Because it's unlike any superhero movie we've ever seen. 他说一，我让他一句话推荐一下这个电影。他说这个是跟以往的超级英雄电影都不一样的一部电影。John, because you've already seen、uh, Wolf Warrior Two twenty times. <笑><笑>他说，因为我们已经看了二十遍《战狼》了，所以要看一看这个电影。<笑> Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you, everyone. <笑>那么，女士们、先生们，我们再次把热烈掌声送给我们《蜘蛛侠：英雄归来》的二位主创，谢谢他们。Thank you very much. Thanks for being here in China. Thank you. If you think that the screening of our screening has ended, then you're wrong. We know that the movies of Marvel will have bombs, right? So the screening of our screening today will have bombs. So at this moment, please look at the big screen. Hi, everyone. I am Robert Downey Jr., and I have some exciting news to share with you. Spider-Man: Homecoming will be released in China soon.
I cannot wait to see you at the cinemas. This one turned out really good. I love it. I endorse this motion picture. 怎么样？这个彩蛋不错吧？那我们再次欢迎上 our very own Spiderman. <笑>哇哦 哎，毕志馆，你其实已经呃看过这个电影，对吗？我们有一些提前的一些预录场，怎么样？你感觉怎么样？先不要剧透，但是要给我们讲讲。呃，就是非常非常不错，因为蜘蛛侠也是我从小